When I released my second Kindle book the other day, the, the one here, SEO 2012 and beyond, I had a few emails from people saying they were a bit disappointed because they didn't own a Kindle. Now, the good news is you don't have to own a Kindle to be able to read Kindle books. You can read them on your computer, um, whether that's a Mac or a PC, it doesn't, it, there's no problem. You can read them on smartphones, you can read them on iPads, you can read them on any tablet. And um, there isn't a secret, you just have to download the software. Now, you can do a search of Google if you want for Kindle software. And if you've got a Mac, search for Kindle software Mac. If you've got a PC, search for Kindle software PC. Or when you find a Kindle book that you want to buy or just have a look through the Kindle marketplace, over here you can see that Amazon provide a link to Kindle reading apps, which if we click, we'll get taken to the page that shows us the software that we can get. Now, if we scroll down a little bit, we've got a Kindle Cloud Reader. Let's ignore that for a moment, but we've got a section here on smartphones. So if you've got an iPhone or an iPod uh, or an Android or a Windows Phone 7 BlackBerry or uh, oh, sorry, a Windows Phone 7 or a BlackBerry, you can go to those pages and find them. I actually have Kindle software on my smartphone. It's an Android phone and I just went to the Android marketplace. If you've got a, an iPhone, just go to the App Store and search for Kindle and you'll find it. Um, and the same if you've got a tablet, either an Android tablet or an iPad, just go to the Apps Marketplace or the Android Marketplace or Google Play, I think it's called now, and search for Kindle and you'll find the software. If you've got um, or you want to read your Kindle books on a Windows computer, you can click on this link, Mac computer, that link. And all you do when you click on that link, you'll get taken to the download page where you can see it requires Windows 7 Vista or XP. And you can download that and install it. Once it's installed, you'll have to enter in your Amazon email address and password and then anything that you buy through Kindle will be put into that account and um, it'll be downloaded here onto your Kindle. This is my Kindle on my PC. If we just open up, let's just open up my SEO book and you see it's opened up now on the PC. Now one thing you can do is up here and it's very similar on the iPad version. You've got this symbol here for changing fonts and font sizes. So you can actually decrease the font size or increase it however makes best, um, whatever is best for you. And you also, words per line, you can stretch the width of the page using this option here. So you can get more content per page or less content per page. And you've also got the options of having the, the background sepia and, and the fonts change color slightly or um, a white text on a black background. Once you've got all that set you can then just read your Kindle books directly on your PC or your Mac or your smartphone or your tablet.